Hi and welcome to another video on web design with HTML and CSS. In this tutorial we'll be looking at how to add paragraphs, line breaks and headings to a web page. In the previous tutorial we looked at how to set up a web page uh, and how to add a first paragraph, but we'll look a little bit more at uh, how to add more paragraphs and split them up and add headings. So um, we have this template file here uh, which has our head section and our body section. And um, what we'll do is uh, we'll use the p tag again to create another paragraph like we did last tutorial. So I'll add a paragraph here using the p tag. I'll say this is my first paragraph. And we can go and open this after saving it. And there we go, we've got, this is my first paragraph. Okay, um, we can also add another paragraph. So if we use the p tag again, we can say, this is the second paragraph. Save that. Refresh the page. And there we go. And you notice that there's a gap between these two lines because they're separate paragraphs. All right. Um, but we don't actually have to use the paragraph tags. And if we don't want, uh, if we want to add text without creating an empty line there, we can also um, use a line break tag. So if we were to remove these P tags, we'd actually see all of the text still. So we can actually add tags, we can actually add text without using the P or paragraph tag. But what you'll notice is that even though I've separated the two lines in the code, it all is displayed on one line in the browser. This is my first paragraph, this is my second paragraph. So you can use, you can add text without the paragraph tags, but it will just display it all on one line. What we can do is put all of this inside the p tag. So we can add the opening paragraph tag there, and we can close the paragraph tag here using the closing tag. Now, so this is my first line of text, and this is my second line of text. What we'll do is use the break tag, or line break tag, to split these lines up. So there are actually two lines of text in the browser. And to do that, we just use the brackets, br, and there we go. That's a break tag. So anything after this tag, is going to be displayed on a new line in the browser. So if we save that, go back and refresh the page, there we go, we've got the text there, but on two separate lines because we've used the break tag to start a new line, or line break tag. Um, another tag that we'll look at in this tutorial is the heading tag. And to add a heading, we can use six different tags from H1 up to H6, so H for heading, but there's six different sizes where H1 is the largest size and H6 is the smallest size. So if I want to add a large heading, I can say H1, say this is a H1 size heading. Save that and go back to the browser and refresh the page. And there we go, we've got a large heading there. Just to show you the other size headings, I'll put those in. H2, and I'll actually just copy and paste these lines of code, three, four, five, six, and just change these tags here, oops, one, two, three, four, five, oops, need another one, Oops, got four there twice, that's right. So, okay, so I've got five different, sorry, six different headings here. H1 size, H2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Save that, go back to the browser, and there we can see all those different uh, size headings. From H1 all the way down to H6. So just remember, when you use the H tag for a heading, there's six different sizes that you can use. Now you might not want 
any of these sizes here. You might want one that's a little bit in between H1 and H2, or you might want a heading that's larger than H1. So to do that, we can um, format our headings. We can use CSS code to format the size of the heading, and we'll look at that a little bit later. But that's it for this tutorial. You might also notice that so far, uh, the text that we've added is all the same font. So we'll look at changing the font style as well uh, in the next videos. So that's it for this tutorial. We've looked at how to uh, add more paragraphs, break up lines of text using the break, line break tag, and the six different heading size tags as well. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.